All right, so I'm filling the bucket up. Uh, it's for the chickens. Uh, hold on. It's for the chickens. Uh, we used to have water. Well, I guess there's a line ran, but it busted uh, when I was really young. So um, I think what I'm going to do later this summer is run a trench and rerun some line from the house back to the barn. Uh, I don't know if you can see it back there. Probably not because the light's on, but if you can, it's about 300-ish feet. So then I don't have to keep running water out to the chickens and eventually I think we want to get some horses. We used to have them when I was younger, but uh, we haven't had them in I'd say at least 10 years. And so we need to redo all the horse fencing. I'll probably show you that, uh, show you guys that later on in a different video. Um, trying to keep an eye on this water jug. Uh, so right now I just have this five gallon water jug that I got to fill up and hoof back. And the we've got 95 chickens back there. So they're going through about five gallons a day. So um, it's getting old quick. So anywho, um, I've got some stuff that I need to get planted this week. And... Um, the peach trees are doing good. The water's almost done, so I'll be right back. Got the jug just about full. I try not to fill it up too much because otherwise it's hard to pour for the first gallon. And now I got the sprinkler going and we're gonna head back to that little light back there. That's the barn. And you can see what we call the breakfast posse. Uh, they're all, they're already in the coop. So uh, I'm gonna go back, I gotta, uh, put the windows up on Sarah's car, her Explorer. There's little tubes in the sunroof and if they don't stay clean, the water backs up if it rains real hard and um, goes down and runs onto the floorboard. So that's kind of been my project uh, or that's going to be my project coming up tomorrow. So yeah, so let's go get the chicken some water and I'll take you guys along with me. Uh, super late video, um, but it's been the 4th fourth, fourth of July weekend, not much going on. So uh, let's kind of show you and I got to move some cars around and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. I got the cars moved, got the chickens taken care of. We're back up at the house and I'm gonna call this a wraps. I'm gonna start editing and I don't know, things and stuff, I guess. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna finish the video here, if I'm gonna go into the next day. Um, but if I decide to finish it here, thanks for watching and like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. One more thing I forgot to mention, I was moving the BRZ and the LED taillights that I just got for it not too long ago. Um, the one is flickering, so I guess I'm going to have to contact uh, the people that I got it from, see if it's maybe still under warranty, and I hope so. Who knows, it's 2020, so probably not, because, you know, Rona, but, uh, you know, got to get fixed, so... It's acting up, it's goofy, I don't like it. So, um, but man, when it, when it works, it looks so good. There's four LEDs on the back of the BRZ now. So when you back up, even with limo tint on the back, you can see everything, it's awesome. Mm -hmm.